actually like acting is such an ephemeral job like we're constantly trying to like catch clouds when when we're trying to when we go to work and to to work out is really easy like because you just do like the six things they tell you to do and it happens whereas if someone says like be hamlet you're like i don't what <laughs> do they have any advice for you um to be honest they didn't like um i think you know it's very difficult to give advice about acting because like, it's such a sort of kind of you know intangible thing that you can't you know what can you say like feel it better but but i think you i think you can't help but learn i mean one of the things extraordinary about um, I think the film industry, unlike any other industry, is as a, as a young person, you can be working with the greatest writer in the world, and the greatest cinematographer in the world, the greatest um, director in the world, and be a valuable person within that machine. There's, I can't think of many other jobs where the novice will be asked a question by, you know, by the most, the auteur, and that question's answer be so important to them. No. And so the London theatre world is a little bit kind of, if you haven't been to drama school, they don't really like to let you through the door because they're worried you can't speak loud enough. Um, and RP, you can't project. Seriously, I mean, yeah, it genuinely okay. is like yeah. that. Um, they're like, have you done a film? You, you, you whisper. It is, it's never very interesting to think in a binary way if you're exploring a character. No, not at all. I mean, I, I've, I've tried hard potentially not to see myself on screen in character only because I always find it much easier um, to pretend to be someone if I've never seen myself pretending to be them because I know myself pretty well and I see myself and go, oh, you're not them. Um, you know, ultimately, I, I, I'm just trying to tell the truth um, uh, and to evoke something in an audience. And when you can touch, taste and feel things, it's so much easier you just have to lie so much less. And I think the point of acting is lying as little as possible. It's incredibly easy to tell the truth when you can touch the truth. Yeah. I, I don't know, when, when you start to prepare a role, you think about things so much, and sometimes being in your head is unhelpful, and when you can touch something, when you can feel something on your skin, like, it creates an idea and a feeling in you that is entirely different to what you could have imagined, and you feel like it's the beginning, like you're ready. And I remember putting the costume on for the first time and feeling that start and being so profoundly excited. Like normally when you do a play, you kind of have to go, okay, I'm in Russia, it's 1922, <laughs> like my dad is being played by a man I met two months ago um, and I'm in love with a horse. And, but, but, but so you have to kind of, you have to force yourself into this, this tiny space that didn't exist before. Like, so however you feel that day, you have to lie to yourself and go, I don't feel like that. And there are a thousand people in the room and you have to do the biggest lie of all, which is to pretend that you don't exist. Trying to try to create a character is a little bit of a magic trick and um, in that when you kind of describe how you did it, it's the same way as when you describe a magic trick. You just go, oh, that, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's sort of a part of the kind of bizarre magic of creating a character is that if you sort of give away the trick, you realise that it's just stupid. Um, uh, there is something that happens after a while of, of when you think about them so much and you begin to play them, is you realise that the, the static painting is profoundly different to a living being. And the kind of translation of... Um, an, e an endless being sort of staring forcefully out into the distance, which you have so often in the um, depictions of dream. You know, you ha you, it, it becomes very different when you start to apply intention and, um, and feeling. It does become an organism, the audience, and a single consciousness in a certain way, and it's just, it's that kind of when a thousand people are forced into thinking about the same thing, it's just, it's, inc it's incredibly powerful to stand in front of. And, and you, do, you do feel, I don't know, like, uh, uh, like w when you're a single person versus that level of, it, it's sort of afterwards, you just kind of feel like you've been through something like pretty extreme. For me, personally, I think a, a lot of it has to do with, with 
in theatre you're left with more time uninterrupted to be the character. No matter how method you are as an actor or on a film set, you can't suspend the disbelief. There is a machine in front of you, yeah. like recording you. There is a guy, you know, offering you coffee. Like, even if you're, you know, I am a butcher, I am a butcher, I am a butcher, I am a butcher, I am a butcher. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's like you're not. Um, <laughs> like, but whereas in a play, you know, and, and then when you are a butcher, it's for two minutes and 18 seconds. Yeah. And we're in a play, we're left alone for two hours being butchers. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and that is, I, I mean, that's, for me, that is a big difference. Yeah. And it does, cause it, cause it, because after two minutes and 18 seconds, you kind of, you, well, at least I do, I do forget and I start to kind of be in the world. Mm -hmm. And that, that's interesting. Yeah. I think I find the leap of imagination is smaller. Um, when I'm on stage in a living room and I, I can't see that there's anybody else there, I can only see the person I'm talking to and I feel like I'm living it. Um, whereas when you make a film, uh, the first thing you have to do is pretend that there are not 72 men and women in a loud machine standing in front of you. I mean, I th think by n necessity, the main difference is that your preparation process on a film is normally pretty private. I, sure. It, it, it's short. Well, it's short. Or, or, I mean, whatever. And it's, you, you kind of do it on your own, and then you bring your work like to the day, or, and and you kind of, you know, you s suddenly a group of people who prepared totally separately come together, and you know, magic or not happens. Um, <laughs> whereas you know, th th this this is very much a communal uh, experience, preparation wise. You know. The rehearsal process is a group of us all together in a room, slowly trying to attritionally uh, attack this text. I, I think that the sort of the, the picture of a director historically has always been, you know, pointlessly masculine. Like it's someone leading a group of men. It's always been militaristic. It's always had this quality, which kind of you know makes you feel. Uh, I, I imagine like as an outsider, as a woman, which is absurd, ridiculous and wrong. Um, and I think the theatre potentially doesn't quite have the same sort of blah, perception, stigma. Um, but, I mean, that's potentially a naive way of looking at it. And that medium, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't carry the kind of the burdens and um, iconography of the screen in the same way. The, 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 the best piece of acting it was, and it's going to sound trite, but it isn't, is to do it, often and always. It's one of the few, it's so weird, it's one of the few jobs or like, um, I don't know, hobbies or something that people are interested in that people so rarely do. If you want to be a musician, you play guitar every single day to be a writer, you write every single day. But as actors, we wait for the one time maybe we're going to do a play at school, or for the one time maybe we'll like make a short film with a friend next year. And you can never become a good actor if you do one play at school and one short film every two years. You have to do it all the time. And so either make things yourself or with your friends or wh whatever it is, but just keep practicing because, yeah, I mean, we, acting is just like everything else, you just have to keep practicing and eventually you'll find, you know, what it is and who you are. Just don't, don't wait to start yeah. now. But and the only other piece of acting advice I was going to give to the other person is, is just pretty much 98% of acting is listening. Just always be listening. <laughs>